factorize a to the power of 4 uh, times b minus c plus b to the power of 4 times c minus a plus c to the power of 4 a minus b. Now if you look at this expression, this is in an order which is called a cyclic order. If you look at this, this is a, a minus b, b minus c, c minus a. So where you have a minus b, you've got c to the power of 4. Where you've got b minus c, you've got a to the power of 4. And when you've got c minus a, you've got b to the power of 4. So when you have this type of expression, the first step is to expand it. So this is a to the power of 4, b minus a to the power of 4, c plus b, this is just expanding, so now let's group it in the descending power of a, so these two have got the power of a to the power of 4, if you look at these two, this has powers of a, and these two do not have powers of a, so ordering it in the descending power of a, this is a to the power of 4, you can pause this video and try to do the next step, so I'm just grouping this, the only thing that you have to be careful is, you have to be extra careful or efficient in factorizing, so you can these are three groups now according to the power of a. So factorizing a to the power of 4, you have b minus c here. Yeah? Minus a, if you factor out a, you got b and plus bc times b cubed minus c cubed. Okay, so now let's again factorize now so this is just this the first step is expanding grouping the next step is factorizing again so now again you can factorize these two so here i'm going to use the difference of two square formula and here i'm going i'm going to use the formula of this is the formula so let me write the formula a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This is a formula. Actually, this formula has come from a plus b the whole cube. Okay, so I'm not going into that. So you can under remember this formula. This is a useful formula. So for b cube minus c cube, you can apply this formula. So you can pause the video and try to do the next few steps if you can. So this is a to the power of 4 times b minus c minus a times difference of two squares, this is b squared plus c squared times b squared minus c squared. It is better to do uh, more steps rather than uh, fewer number of steps and plus if you factorize this, this is b minus c times b squared plus bc plus c squared. Again you can factorize this so this is a to the power of 4 I'll stop this, pause this video and try to do the next few steps. You can also pause the video and try to do the next few steps. Hopefully you have uh, factorized B minus C. So yeah, what I've done after factorizing B minus C, you got A, A to the power of 4 minus A times this B squared plus C squared plus B times B C. And then from here you got b plus c, sorry, b c times this. And the next step, I just expanded this, and I think you can do that yourself. So now I'm going to group again in the uh, in the power of a. So, but my focus here is to find if I can if I have factored b minus c, I'm looking for now a minus b. Okay, so yeah, 
if you group these two if you group these two I can see I can get a cube minus b cube from here and if if we group these two what is common here the common is b squared c b squared c is common or bc bc uh, okay so yeah what can we do so we are looking for a minus b so let me look at so we're looking for a minus so from this group if you factor out a you can get a cube minus b cube now if you take this this with what will give you a minus b this if you take a b squared c with b cube c you can factor out b squared c and you will get a minus b okay now if you look at this this will go with what this will if you here you got minus a b c squared and here you have uh, b squared c squared you got b squared c squared so if you group these two what will what can you factor out you can factor out b c squared and then again you can get a minus b uh, and finally if you look at this and this what can you factor out if you group this together uh, what can you factor out you can factor out c cube and you'll you get a minus b so let's group it now so this is a to the power of 4 minus a b cube okay so this is the first group I, I can see a minus b from here minus this is a very crucial step you should be able to see what what you want to factor out the reason i took a minus b is the factorization of this will also be in cyclic so if b minus c is a factor a minus b should also be a factor so i took this plus b cube c so this is the second group the third group i'm going to write minus a b c squared plus b squared c squared uh, minus a c cube plus b c cube okay so let me scroll up so this is this becomes b minus c this is already sitting out so you can factor out a so you have got a a cube minus b cube what can you factor out here well you can factor out b squared c you have a minus b i'm again going to pause after this step so that you can do the next two steps the next few steps what can you factor out b c squared minus b c squared uh, so you have a minus b yeah and you can factor out c cube and you have a minus b okay so hopefully you've done the next few steps so as i stopped here you can see what i have done i have uh, factorized b cube minus c cube let me use a different color so I factorized b cube minus c cube which is which is this which is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared sorry i had to pause because my baby was crying so what I say is I factorize this, which is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared, and then you can see a minus b is a common factor. So I took a minus b out, and this is what remains, and I, I again expanded it. So I told you as earlier, you have to see the factors will be in a cyclic order. So you've got a minus b out, you've got b minus c out. So I, now I'm looking for A minus C or C minus C. So I can see this and this will give me A minus C. So let me group that. So this is A cube, A cube minus C cube, uh, A cube minus C cube. That will give me A minus, A minus C. What else will give me A minus C? 
Okay, so if you take these two, you can get A minus C here. Yeah? And if you take these two, uh, what is common here? Yeah. You have got uh, B out, you got A squared minus B squared. Okay, so let's group it like this, plus A squared B, A squared B minus B C squared. Okay, so from this I'll get, I'll get A squared minus C squared. And this is the last group. This is A B squared minus B squared C. Okay, so we're almost there. So this is A minus B times B minus C. So if you factorize this, this is A minus C times A squared plus AC plus C squared. And what is common here? You have B common. So if you factor B, you have got A squared minus C squared. All right? Yeah. And finally, you have got B squared common. You have got B minus C. Not A minus C. You got A minus C. If you if you factor out uh, B squared, you got A minus C. Again, you can pause this video and try to do the next few steps. So I'll finish this off. So this is A minus B times B minus C times A minus C times A squared plus AC plus C squared plus B times A minus C times A plus B plus B squared times A minus C. So again, lo and behold, you've got A minus C here, you've got A minus C here, you've got A minus C here. So in fact, of A minus C, so this is A minus B times B minus C times A minus C times A squared plus AC plus C squared plus B times A plus B uh, plus B squared. So writing this and again expanding this is almost the last step. So this is A minus B times B minus C times A minus C. Now expanding this and, and writing in an order, this would be A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus AB, uh, AB, this is AB, uh, have I missed something? Mm, yeah, is a mistake. Okay, it's always good to find mistakes. So this is A plus C, yeah. And yeah, I should have A plus C. Okay, so let me expand it properly, so. So if you expand it, so what, what are you going to get here? You're going to get here A squared plus AC plus C squared plus AB plus BC plus B squared. And to writing in a cyclic order, this A minus C has to be swapped around. I'm going to write A minus C as C minus A, and that's a cyclic order. So I have to put a minus here. A mi minus, minus A minus B bracket B minus C bracket C minus C. I'm writing this in an order, this is A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus AB plus BC plus CA. And this is your final answer for this cyclic expression. So if you look at the answer, the answer is also in a cyclic order. A minus B, B minus C, C minus A, A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus AB plus BC plus CA.